a nobleman from Vienna, was sure that I was the son of Von Moker. Oh? Is he a relative of ours? That poor kangaroo. The zoo is the safest place to spend the night. I know. But I feel sorry for him. Will it have anything to drink or eat? Of course it will, dear. The zookeepers will take care of it. Please rest assured. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, uh, there he is. Wow. Gentlemen, oh, take a step back, please. Oh, this is not the time. What's going on? There he is, the Emperor. Hmm, Sarah? Ah. <gasps> uh. What on earth are you doing here, Sarah? Well, I've been waiting for you, my love. Waiting for you to tell everyone that I'm your new fiancé. <gasps> uh. Uh, uh. Oh. Smile! Uh. Where is Danube? I had hoped she would be expecting me. Danube? How could you just leave without me, Danube? Chris, will I ever see you again? I, uh... You're not the right one. One of what? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're not the thief kangaroo we were up all night looking for. And exactly how many kangaroos do you think there are in Vienna? I have no idea how many, but you're not the right one. Where are you going? Come back here! Wait! Come back here! But Chris would never steal anything, that's for sure. I should know, because he's my ever-loving brother. Congratulations! We're very happy for you. Thank you. What a wonderful surprise, <sighs> my lord. I have to find Cece. Mm -hmm. huh? Franz, dear! <clears throat> the Emperor's running away. Oh, just let him go. He'll be back. And when he does, I'll be waiting. I want you to go to the hotel and bring me my luggage. I will do as you say, mademoiselle. And may I offer my congratulations on your latest conquest? Cece! Cece, I can explain! Get ready to jump now, Flick! Did she just uh, say uh, jump? Uh, <laughs> come back! Have either of you seen Danube? No, I haven't seen Danube. Huh? Got something for me, Chris? Nothing? You haven't stolen a thing. Uh, uh -uh. What's that? You would dare show up here empty-handed? What a disgrace! I'm depending on you and Danube. Um, by the way, where is Danube? Captured. Captured? Yes, somebody caught him when he was in the city. Oh. Hmm? Let's not speak of this now. A nobleman in Vienna asked me if I was the son of a certain Von Moker. He told me we were identical. What should I do? If only you could tell me. Cece! Wait! Come on, Pegasus. Uh, I see her! We have to catch up with Cece. Come on! I don't want Chris to know where Danube is, at least not right now. Do you really think a kangaroo can understand you when you speak? You've been out in the woods too long, my friend. Ha! You don't believe me. Chris, come here! Tell me, Chris, any idea where Danube is? Well, I've seen it all. Let me make you a little proposition. Hmm. Now, Chris, if you bring us some loot, I will tell you exactly where you can find Danube. Now, that's what I call a reasonable author. That's a wealthy nobleman's carriage, all right. Huh? Hey, stop! What are you waiting for? Go after it! Go, Franz. 
Franz. Can't you just leave me in peace? I believe she said beat it. Can't you, royalty, take a hint? Uh, at least hear me out. I stayed up all night looking for you. I'm innocent. Sarah humiliated me in front of everyone, and you did nothing to stop it, did you, Franz? Come back with me to the palace. You have to give me a chance to settle everything once and for all, okay? The palace. We went to clear the air. And instead, Sarah saw it as an opportunity to announce to the world that she's your new girlfriend. I was mortified. Why was she even there? Why were all these noblemen and journalists waiting for you? Why didn't you say anything to them? What do you mean, Cece? Are you really saying it's my fault? I didn't say that. Let's go back to the palace. That's where we'll clear everything up about Sarah. Please, my love. Come with me. Peter V, the young king of Portugal, is visiting the Vienna court. So I guess that means our CC will be very busy these next few days. Huh? Honey, would you put down the paper? You know your father likes to read it while he has his breakfast. Maybe father shouldn't read today's paper. Do we still have yesterday's? A photo of the emperor's future bride. On second thought, no newspaper for your father today. I'm glad you agreed to come back, Cece. I could never stay mad at you, Franz. Now, you'll fix everything, won't you? Mm-hmm. And that's a promise. <laughs> Are you two trying to cause a scandal? <gasps> uh. Good morning, Mother. Cece and I have just returned from a long and exhausting evening of horseback riding. Horseback riding? With your permission, ma'am, I'd like to go change my clothes. I've decided to summon back to the palace all of the noblemen and journalists again. I want the whole world to know that Cece is my one true love. After the party and the engagement announcement at the palace, now you want to issue a denial? You will appear weak, fickle, and unreliable. You won't just be making us look bad, but the whole of Austria, Franz. Is that what you really want to do? But they've got to know it's all been a misunderstanding. Remember, Franz, you are the Emperor. You have to be conscientious. You have to show the world that you are a man of your word. No one will respect you if you do that. I don't care. A promise I make to Cece is more important than what anyone thinks of me. Hmm. Do as you wish, Franz, but just know that you will become the laughing stock of Vienna, and you will surely lose the support and admiration of your people. But first, wait until you've placated the King of Portugal. He's just arrived at the court after having been robbed on his way to Vienna. He was robbed? They stole the chest that contained his crown. Let's see what you've brought me. Hmm. Ah. Oh. 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 oh, this must be worth a fortune. I bet I'll be able to retire for life. Go tell her about Danube. Everything will be back to normal. It'll be normal, all right. And normally, Sarah is something of a sneaky snake. Cece, Leah's been looking all over the place for you. That kangaroo at the zoo is not our thief. <gasps> Are you certain, Leah? My nose never makes mistakes, and I'll bet you ten fat meatballs that it's not the same kangaroo. Well, maybe I should go have a word with this second kangaroo. Good morning, ladies. Say, is breakfast ready yet? I can't wait to have a scone with my news... Not yet, dear. I, At the moment, the kitchen is closed. I, I, I'll call you when you're ready to serve I, breakfast. I, Goodbye. I, I, we have to prevent your father from learning anything about Franz and that other woman in the paper until we can get some answers. But he's going to find out sooner or later, isn't he? I'll keep him away from the newspaper while you, my dear, write a letter to your sister asking for an explanation. That should hold us over until we figure this all out, provided we're able to keep up appearances and fool your father. Tell me the truth. You're not the only kangaroo in Vienna. For the last time, I don't know anything about other kangaroos in this area. It seems like a silly question to begin with. Two kangaroos in Vienna? Now leave me in peace. As you wish, my friend. But before I go, I want you to think about something. If you're covering for the real culprit, you're not just hurting yourself, you're hurting them too. Everyone should be expected to own up to their own faults. When we make excuses for someone or lie on their behalf, we're only digging a deeper hole for both of us. Honesty is the best policy. So I want you to be honest with me. Who is the man in the carriage? Is he forcing your friend to steal? Stop it! I'm the only thief around here. I've been stealing from shopkeepers. There, you have my full confession. Now leave me alone. If you're really the thief, then answer this question. 
Where did we first see you? Huh? If you don't know, then you couldn't possibly be the kangaroo we met. I knew I was right. Come on, we have to tell Franz. Huh? Chris! Shh. I'm taking a big risk coming here. I know. Don't come here to see me. You could get caught. Mm-hmm. But you would also risk everything to see me. Veo amo este jardín. Sim, estamos muitos orgulhosos. The Emperor! What do you think you're doing, Sarah? I was just entertaining hmm? our illustrious guest. It's a pleasure to see you in good health, dear Franz. I'm honored to have you with us, Peter. My apologies for keeping you waiting. I was merely indisposed. Not to worry, Franz. Mademoiselle Sarah has been a charming hostess, and to my astonishment, she is fluent in Portuguese. What a delightful creature! Mm -hmm. So I've been told. Peter, please follow me to my study. I want to know all of the details of this terrible robbery you endured. I promise we'll get to the bottom of it. I'll leave you gentlemen alone, then. Surely we can speak freely in front of Mademoiselle. I hear she will soon be head of the house. You are too kind. But it is customary for heads of state to discuss these affairs in private. I wouldn't dream of going against the rules. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hmm. Johan, I've been searching for you for over an hour. What's wrong? Don't you want breakfast? Sorry, I just needed some time to reflect on a few things. Is this about that old man who mistook you for a nobleman? So you think there must be something else going on here? Yeah, I guess so. It's just the strangest thing. He seemed so sure that I had to have been a relative of this Von Moker. He said I bore a striking resemblance. When I asked Grandma Ida about it, I think she was a little taken aback and tried to change the subject. Really? Do you think she knows this Van Moker? But what reason would Grandma Ida have for lying to you? Maybe for the same reason I've been lying to you all this time. To protect you from the truth and Grandma Ida's lies. What lies are you talking about? So, you're not gonna answer me? Maybe you should put your trust in someone else first before you decide what other people can or can't handle. Confide in Grandma Ida, and maybe she'll confide in you. Oh no! Look! It's Sarah! Do you want us to handle this, Cece? I can chase her away! If you're looking for Franz, he's busy talking with the King of Portugal. But if I were you, Cece, I wouldn't disturb him at this moment. So what makes you think that you can decide what I can or cannot do around here, Sarah? Oh, it isn't my decision, dear. These are simply the rules of the Viennese court. Obviously, you never had any reason to learn about such things. You will kindly get out of my way. That's it. Way to go, Cece. Put her in her place. Didn't you learn your lesson the first time around? Franz doesn't love you. Why did you come back? Didn't he make it clear he doesn't want you around the court? If Franz doesn't want me here, he certainly has a strange way of showing it. The whole city thinks I'm his fiance. Franz loves me and you will never, ever be able to separate us. Are you sure about that? I'm more than sure. Franz wants nothing to do with you. Go away and leave us alone. Now look who's telling who what they can and cannot do, little princess. Please leave the premises. Cece, what are you waiting for? Go after her. Show her who's boss. Give her the back of your hand. Then give her the back of your other hand. That's enough, Nut. I don't think violence is the best way to solve a problem. I know the best way to deal with Sarah. Cook as many vegetables as possible, and unless the kids eat them, they will get no dessert. Thank you. That will be all for today, gentlemen. Oh, hello, dear. Breakfast is served. Doesn't the table look splendid this morning? Yes, it looks wonderful, but there's still something missing. My newspaper. Now, where did you put it? Ah, there it is. No. Th there will be plenty of time to read the newspaper. I can't imagine why anyone would want to stay inside on such a lovely day. Why don't you take me for a walk? You know, like we used to take when we were first going steady. The guards pursued the thief, but even on foot, it was much faster than the horses. Leaping like a kangaroo? Kangaroo? I'm so sorry this happened to you, Peter. But I have a good idea who, or rather what, stole your crown. Oh, really? And I can get it back for you. Come on, I think I know just the person to help us. Ah. Ah. Have you heard there's, there's another, another kangaroo, kangaroo thief, thief in, Vienna. in Vienna? 
I'd recognize that lovely face anywhere. The famous Princess Cece. Cece, allow me to present to you my guest, the King of Portugal, Peter V. Charmed. Franz told me you were beautiful, but I had no idea. Uh, the kangaroo we captured is not the thief we're looking for. Indeed. There's a second kangaroo in Vienna, and this morning it robbed our guest and stole the crown of Portugal. Do you have a kangaroo? I want to see it. I like them. They're fun. Come on, I'll show you. Do you really think that stupid kangaroo is going to help you take Franz away from me, you little minx? What are you trying to tell me, Johan? Out with it. For goodness sake, there must be something. Petra is in the court of Vienna, surrounded by noblemen. She set her sights on the Emperor. Oh no, that's not possible. I saw it with my own eyes. She's trying to steal Emperor Franz away from Princess Cece. I swear! Has she gone mad? Why does she think she'll get away with this? I'm sorry about Cece, and I'm sorry about Petra, too. Sorry for her? Indeed. Because she is unable to find joy in the simple pleasures. Please, Johan, go back to Vienna now. Make her change her mind and bring her back to us. It's the only way. I'd love to, Grandmother, but how would I ever be able to get into the court again? Lowly peasants like me aren't typically given access to the palace. Perhaps there is a way. Philip, take this to the Royal Zoo and to the police. It concerns the matter of the robbery of Peter V and a kangaroo. My lord, forgive me, but did you just say that this is about a kangaroo? I was sure to find you in here, Franz. I remember your old habits. That'll be all for now, Philip. You and I need to talk. What do you think you're doing? All you've done is lie to everyone and made my life miserable since you've arrived here. What kind of game are you playing? Uh-huh. Franz, I'm just having a little bit of fun. Settle down, my dear. Can't you understand I'm in love with Cece? Don't tell me you never miss me, Franz. Not even a little bit. Come on now, darling. Uh -huh. I apologize for interrupting you two. Mother, I want you to stay here and keep an eye on Sarah until I get back. I need to tie up loose ends and resolve this misunderstanding once and for all. And how did you manage to get a dress just like Cece's? This is preposterous. What if Franz discovers the truth about me, Sophia? He will not find out anything as long as you can keep your mouth shut. I was afraid that you had left me all alone in Vienna, and I was never going to see you again. And I was also afraid that you would have to pay for all of my crimes. I couldn't bear the thought of you suffering because of what I have done. Chris, you should know by now that I would never leave you behind. Really? Now let's go steal that crown back from the carriage and return it to its rightful owner, then we can start over. But that would be very dangerous. Oscar and his friend could cause us a lot of trouble. It's not safe. I don't want to put you in danger again. We'll do it together. Tackling our problems head on is always better than running away from them. Running away? The Royal Guard and the police are all out looking for us. Anyway, we wouldn't be able to get far at this rate. Huh? Oh. You really are an animal lover, aren't you, Peter? Oh yes, and for me the more the merrier. Hey Cece, this king friend of yours is really cool. I'd say it looks like all that affection is being reciprocated. <laughs> now I'm curious. I take it you understand the language of animals? Well, as a matter of fact, yes. I understand every word they say. Oh my gosh! The kangaroo! What's the matter? It's gone! It managed to escape. Let's use Shadow and Leah to follow its tracks. It couldn't have gotten very far. That's a good idea. You have this beautiful lake to admire. Not to mention me. And you want to read the paper? My dear, I read the paper every day. Why wouldn't I? I just wish it hadn't been totally vandalized. <gasps> no, Max. This is fate. Even the newspaper wants you to admire this beautiful view. Louise, what exactly are you trying to hide from me? Well, it's about Cece. Looks like no one's around. You stay there. Hurry up. Oscar might come back. Can you hurry up just a bit? Fine, I'm almost done. That's the crown that I stole. Oh, Come on then, we've got to get out of here. 
Huh? Hey, you two! Put that down! Huh? <laughs> We're picking up something. Huh? That flock of sheep is bound to throw up the scent. If we both go together, we can shoo them away. Shadow and Leah, stay here. Shoo! shoo. Go, go away, away sheep. sheep! Listen up, sheep. He's the emperor. You better do as he says or he'll have you all thrown in the dungeon. Then you've never stole anything in his life and he's stealing from me? Uh. And after all I've done for you! Huh? <sighs> Hey, look, the kangaroo wants to challenge you. I hear they're pretty good at boxing. What about it? Ha, I'm not threatened by it. <laughs> Who needs boxing when you've got a knife? Now it's your turn. Put down that knife. You heard her. Put it down. Take them both directly to jail. As you command. He saved my life, Cece. And now I will save her life. Just watch this. Magic bracelet. I command you to use your healing powers to save the life of Chris. I'm all right. Oh. What is this? This article says that Franz is now engaged to Sarah and he declared his love for her in front of the nobleman. Max, dear, calm down. Huh? Calm down? Look at this. It says here that Sarah is now his new fiance. I'm leaving for Vienna. For Vienna? But why? To rescue my daughter. That's why we had to hide the newspaper from you, because you're ready to explode without hearing all of the facts yet. What do you mean by all? Maybe the story is wrong. Maybe it's made up. You can't believe everything you read in the papers these days. Nene just sent her a letter. When we hear back from Cece, then we'll decide if we need to leave. Thanks to you two, the Crown of Portugal is back. And all of the merchants had their property returned to them. Portugal would like to extend its appreciation for your service. Not so fast. The only reward they should see is to be locked up in a cage for the rest of their lives. Repentant or not, they're still guilty of stealing and must pay the price. What about forgiving them? Princess Cece is right. If you have no objection, Your Highness, I'd like to take them with me to Portugal, where they will live as my guests. Oh? I will take care of them and allow them to roam free on my beautiful palace grounds. In the spirit of Viennese diplomacy, I will support your decision, King Peter. And so, may I say, I wish you the best. You seem to love animals just as much as I do, don't you? Hmm. He does look like you, Johan, only more regal. Huh? Who is this man? This man is your father. What are you trying to say to us, Grandma Ida? You mean the man we called Dad wasn't our real father? No. My son is the man who raised you as your father. He loved you dearly, but he was not your real father. Why? Why on earth would our real father just abandon us like that? Sadly, he was forced to do so, and he entrusted my son to your care since my son was a valued employee. But what became of our real father? Is he still alive? That I don't know. But I know you are of noble birth. What? Noble birth? Yes, and so a great fortune awaits you in Vienna. You have a palace and wondrous treasures to your name. And I have all the documents that can prove it. Huh? 